Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Muniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in West Valley Division in the City of Los Angeles on July 25th, 2023 at around 11.15 a.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Your discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. West Valley Patrol Division officers responded to multiple calls for an ambulance cutting in the 7600 block of Reseda Boulevard. The suspect was reportedly assaulting community members with a knife in a multi-unit shopping center. Here are the 911 calls and corresponding radio broadcasts. Hello, sir. This is coming on uh, my friend's shop. They have a knife head to person on the Satoko in Rasida. The address is 7, uh, seven 6. 7 6 for Rasida? Yes, yes, police, early, yes, early, police, police. What, and what's, going, someone early. what's going on there right now? Someone coming to shop, someone come on to shop. He's with a small knife, hit someone here. Someone, it's a Mexican. Does, some, does someone need a paramedic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, hold on, let me connect with you with the... guy with knife coming in the shop. Okay, hold on, let me connect you with the ambulance as well. The police will be responding. Don't hang up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, 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 yeah. Don't hang up. Hello, yes, do you need the police fire for a minute? How can I help you? What's going on? Yes, we, uh, I'm calling from, but there's people right here on, uh, they, uh, they have some problem with, uh, somebody, he said somebody's killing something, I don't know. I'm not there. They're, they're trying to call the police as well. Okay, so what do you know is going on right now? Somebody's uh, killing someone. I don't know. Don't no, know. They're fighting a guy. There's a guy that a is beating some guy? other guy up. You have a description of the guy? There's that? a guy. He, he, he looks like white. He got a bald head. All I see is a black t-shirt. And he's um, hitting the other man. The other man has blood. He has uh, black pants. And he's uh, slim. But he's hitting the other guy. Okay. He's on the floor. Okay, so the victim is wearing black pants. Is that correct? No, the, that's the, the aggressor. Oh, that's the aggressor. The victim okay. is wearing, like, khaki um, Bermuda shorts, and he's on the floor. He's bleeding. Okay, let me transfer to the paramedics, okay? Give him the address phone number. Okay, up. well, then you're going to need the police, too, because the guy is yeah, still no, no, beating no, him up. No, 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 yes, we're going to send out the yeah. police, but since he's injured, okay. we're sending out fire paramedics. West Valley Units, ambulance cutting, 76, Reseda, and so 1982, and our D104, standby for additional. Westbound units on 1067, 1067 additional Evans cutting 76. We see the Boulevard to be near the suspect. Is a male spotted 35 years, 5 feet, and built falls with a black tank top and black pants. Is now standing in the hallway of the parking lot. Victim is on the ground. This is the 1882. That suspect was later identified as Mavic Areola. When the officers arrived at the location, they encountered Ariola in the parking lot kneeling over a bloodied victim while still armed with a metal utility knife. The officers immediately requested the assistance of additional officers and began to give Ariola verbal commands. They repeatedly ordered Ariola to drop the utility knife. However, he did not comply with any of the officers' commands. As a result, one officer fired two 40-millimeter, less lethal launcher foam projectile rounds 
at Areola, which proved ineffective. Areola then began to stab the victim repeatedly, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Areola was struck by gunfire, fell onto the victim, and was subsequently taken into custody without further incident. The 40 millimeter less lethal device fires a foam projectile round. The round strikes the person's body and is intended to cause pain. While there may be bruising, it is designed to distribute energy over a broad surface area and not penetrate the body. The primary target for this less lethal device is the navel or belt line. A portion of this incident was captured on video from several nearby security cameras.
Look in there! Show him. what the fuck? Portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. A67, we're code six. Make it a backup. Hey! Any unit in the vicinity to an A67 request to get back to Barry and Boulevard. Any L2 for the station. Any L2, Roger. Air 16. Air 16. Air 16. Air 16. A portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's body worn video. Body worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. 
This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. A67, we're code six. Make it a backup. Hey! Hey! Get away from him right now! Drop the knife! 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 I ain't dropping it. Drop it! Get away from him now! 67, officer needs help. Drop the knife! Drop it! Let him go! Drop it! Dan, you're my DCO. Get off of him! Listen to me. Fine. Stop. What's your name? Hey! Drop the knife! Now! Dan, you got you got me, right? Shit. Stop! 10 6 7 Shot fire, shot fire. Make it a backup. Drop it! Get away from him now! Get away from him now! Stop! Stop! Let him go! Let it go! Get away! Now! Listen to me! Stop! What's your name? Hey! You do it! No! Stop! That's enough! Get away! Let him Stop! Suspect, suspect, suspect. Okay. Can you hear me? Can I get uh, two RAs? One for a uh, for uh, multiple stab wounds. One for a uh, two stab A portion of this incident was also captured by a witness on their cellular phone. Get away! Get off of them! Listen to me. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded shortly thereafter and pronounced Ariola deceased. The victim was transported to a local hospital to be treated for numerous lacerations and stab wounds he sustained to his head and body. In addition to these injuries, the victim was also treated for an injury he sustained after being inadvertently struck by a 40 millimeter foam projectile round fired by an officer. Investigators recovered a Husky brand folding metal utility knife at scene and booked it as evidence. A portion of the blade broke off in the victim's head and remained lodged until removed by medical personnel at the hospital. Mavic Ariola was a 44-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all Los Angeles police officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.